I'm going to record now from um, Coleman Cuts and Mustard, Coronavirus, We're Breeding a Race of Psychos, Act Now to Stop the Politicians' Damaging and Deadly Lies. Uh, Dr Vernon Coleman says, My wife Antoinette is the only person in our home who understands things which require electricity and therefore the only one capable of finding stuff on the internet. This morning Antoinette showed me several images which will haunt us both for years. One photo showed school children in a playground. Each child confined within a chalk square drawn on the ground. The children were not allowed to play with one another. They were not allowed to touch one another. They had to play games by themselves. Solo marbles? Try playing tag by yourself. The quickest game in the history of playground sport. No football, no cricket, no rounds. No racing around, screeching for no apparent reason, other than the fact that you have joy in your heart and energy to waste. Another photo showed children in a classroom, sitting yards away from one another. Gosh, this is terrible, isn't it? Sitting yards away. Another apart from one another, each one wearing a mask and a plastic visa. This is utter, utter madness. It is also wicked cruelty in the UK. It is alleged that if a child falls or has any sort of accident, then they must not be helped by other children or by teachers. I don't believe what I'm reading here is absolutely ghastly. I know it's true, Dr Vernon. The child who falls and grazes a knee will have to attend to it themselves. But they're not capable, most. The child who is so terrified that he or she has a leakage of some kind must deal with it alone. Well, that is child cruelty. No caring, no hugs. I wouldn't send my child to school. Enough. The lunacy has gone on far enough. But who in the name of all things holy thinks up these barbaric madnesses? Has anyone in any authority any idea of the permanent damage that this will do to those poor children? Children will be scarred for life by what has already happened to them. It's safer to be kept at home with mum or nan. We're breeding a new race of weirdos, lone psychopaths. Do teachers want to create a generation of uncaring psychos or are they doing it because they are ill-informed and too lazy to look at the facts? Teachers are educated people. They should care about the science and check it out and double check it out. That isn't written down, but they should check it out for themselves. A study by paediatricians could not find one case of a child passing on the coronavirus. Not one. One boy who did have the disease failed to give it to 170 people who were classified as contacts. If teachers want to protect children from danger, they would do better to insist that all children wear crash helmets in case meteors fall on their heads. And then there are the adults. I saw a picture of diners in a restaurant sitting in what looked like a small greenhouse. The waiter was passing them their food on a plank of some kind. 
professional footballers whose risk of suffering any serious illness as a result of the coronavirus is minute were delighted to be practicing alone. Each one had half a pitch on which to practice, but they were not allowed to pass the ball to anyone. <laughs> And if and when they play a match, they will be allowed to look away when tackling. That's the whole point of it. You have to see to beat to... Oh, God, they don't know about the game of football, these idiots, do they? Oh, Lord have mercy. The churches are still shut. That was the biggest abrogation of responsibility in history. Yes, and I'm annoyed about that. The church not fighting and saying we won't close our doors. I hope no one ever enters a church again. Well, I do, unfortunately, but I don't like it. I don't enjoy seeing all the old people with masks and they're in their 90s and they're sitting miles apart. And it, 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 well, it's, it, it's if we didn't go to receive Jesus in the Holy Eucharist, none of us would go, I can assure you that. I wouldn't. Huh. Put the well-paid bishops out on the street, yes. Formal religion failed people when they needed it. Yes, they did. Yes, definitely. The dentists in the UK are still shut. Thousands of people with toothache are becoming addicted to opiates. That's great for the drug companies. Why the hell are the dentists shut? They wear masks, gloves, and work in sterile conditions. My wife, who is bravely trying to retain the sense of humour, said that if all her teeth fall out, she can at least wear a mask to cover her mouth. <laughs> Councils are defying the governments and still keeping parks, public toilets and car parks shut so that people can't sunbathe or take exercise. Oh, I'm uncomfortable. I've been sitting here too long. I think I'm going to have to stop soon. Hasn't anyone told them about the need for vitamin D? That will be another few hundred thousand sick people. Counselors work for us. It, it's not their country. It is our country. The councils will be broke next year and they will put up taxes and blame the virus. But it is their fault, not the virus. There were tears in Antoinette's eyes as she told me about the agonies she had read about the children who don't understand and the patients in pain. Our society is falling apart. Antoinette and I went shopping, said Dr. Vernon. There were only three shops open, and it was a miserable, soul-searing experience. At one shop, I was ordered to stay outside until another shopper had left. Not asked, ordered. You may be surprised to hear that I'm not good with being given orders. At the next, I was shouted at for paying with cash. And in the third, I was screamed at by a youth with powerful jackboot tendencies for failing to follow a one-way system. That would have foxed a maze designer. There was incidentally no one else except the two of us in the shop at the time. All this is allegedly being done to save lives. Anyone who still believes this is all necessary is ill-informed or stark raving mad or both. I can laugh at the pathetic diners and even more the pathetic footballers and we will do our shopping online. But the, what the hell are we doing to our children? How can we allow teachers to do this? The wicked teachers who agree to draw chalk lines and putting down tape and inventing rules that would have embarrassed the Nazis should all be sacked and permanently banned from any employment that involves people. 
The madness has gone too far. It has to stop. Why do so many apparently intelligent people put up with all this garbage? What next? Will we be ordered to kill all the Jews, gays or just the people over 70? Why do so many people believe the lies they're told about the coronavirus? The worst and most dangerous lies aren't coming from conspiracy theorists. They're coming from governments. And I stop there. That's long enough for now. Good night.